it's Friday and I am out to do my grocery shopping and it is seven degrees we're having one of those fabulous polar vortexes again so it's really cold but tomorrow it's supposed to be 46 I, I almost don't even understand how we're gonna have like a temperature spread between like 7 and 46 tomorrow it is super cold and like super snowy right now um, oh it just is like so unpleasant to seem to, to think about getting out of the car and I'm gonna get out of the car and go into Dumas right now but it is like cold so I'm gonna go in and get that done and Let's see what happens. Okay. So I went to Dumas. Did my shopping. Great. Let's see here. I should probably show you what I got. So, did I follow the plan? No. Did I look at my list? Yeah, I did. But I don't know what... I don't know what went wrong. Either I had some wrong thinking about what I was... My plan. Or I looked at my plan and I didn't get it. I got five of these, which was on my list. You know, they're they're a dollar ninety nine because there's a one. This is a one pound pack, so it's like ten bucks. And then lunch meat was on six dollars is what I had, and I got six dollars and four cents. This is different than what I usually get. This is the sandwich sized pepperoni. Mm, pepperoni, it's so good. Um, and if you watched my um, my list making video where we looked at the ads and made my shopping list with my budget. Um, I budgeted or I listed out $16 worth of stuff, right? Cool. But I put $20 down for my budget and my purpose was to get like two more rolls of breakfast sausage for no spend January. Did that happen? No. I went in there and I'm like, I only got two things on my list. And then I sat and talked to... Uh, Michelle, yeah, Michelle as a register who is like my favorite cashier there. And you know, she asks about my kids and she tells me about her boys, and we talk about how cold it is, you know, just like in the line chat or stuff. And I, I stopped to talk to her for a little long because nobody was there because it was seven degrees out and no one wants to leave their house. So, anyway, I stopped and had a lovely chat with her. I go out to the car, look at my list, like get ready to do all the stuff that I do for my videos. Um, I get my receipt out, you know, take my picture of it. I do my math, you know, I spent this much money and subtract that from my budget and blah, 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 blah. I'm under this many dollars. Yeah. So start looking around, get my purse. Well, the children have raided it once again, toddler life. And I could not find a pen. I like looked through all my doors. I looked in the back seat. I looked in the, the way, way back, back there. Nothing. So I just was like, dude, just throw down and buy some. And I was like, well, you could go to Dollar Tree. And I thought, you know, you're going to get into trouble if you go into Dollar Tree. Because it's hard to walk into Dollar Tree and not spend like a $20 bill. So, I stopped at CVS. CVS. There it is. Um, and I just was like, I know it's going to cost probably more, but it's really going to cost less because if you only buy that and you walk out of the store, it's way less than $20. Well, okay, so I went in. Oh, the heat feels so good on my face. It feels so good. Anyway. I go in and of course now I've moved stuff and I can't find it. Ah, I found it. Um, and I bought a pack of pens. That's the back. And of course there's a bunch of pens in here. I, I don't even know how many. I just literally dumped them into my center console. And that way I had a pen because I can't keep track of my budget without this handy dandy writing instruments. So I went ahead and spent three dollars and 35 cents at CVS 
anyway, so let's get to the cost breakdown here. So at Dumas, I had $20 budgeted and I only spent $15.49. So that leaves me $14 or $4.51 there. All right, Howard, I'm doing math in my head. So this is going to be fertile ground for you to be like, mm -mm. Uh, but then I did get the calculator out. I have a $125 budget this week. So minus that $15, it leaves me $109.51. Then my unscheduled CVS stop, which I got pens were $2.19 and a Lara bar. Mostly because I'm super duper hungry. I got up at 3.30 this morning and went to work and I had coffee. Um, so I was like, you know what, you should probably just get something. And they were on sale 10 for 10, so it was a, it was a buck. And I feel like it's, I know it's full of sugar, dude, I know, but it's better for you than a Snickers. So that's what I went with. Also, Lara bars are gluten-free, except for like certain ones, and dairy-free. So it's safe for me to eat. Um, and that's a, you know, that's a, a big deal. And it was a buck. So it was like just as cheap. So I've got one stop down. It looks like I have a Sam's stop on my list and I probably will not be doing that until tomorrow. I'm doing some of the last of my Christmas shopping with my mom, which you'll notice that, yeah, I, I am wearing two of these because it's seven degrees out. Okay. But my mom did make both of these. They're super cute. Anyway. I keep my, my little ears this warm and let my ponytail stick out. So, um, I'm going to go to save a lot next and then we're going to go to Aldi's and then I got to stop at the bank to get cash for, um, gas stuff for the week. Um, all right. So I guess it's off to save a lot. I just got out of save a lot and let me tell you I took a lot longer than I thought it would uh, I only had one two three four five six things on my list and literally they had four of them in the first section as I walked in the door so I started getting my onions and my sweet potatoes and my pineapple and anyway and right next to it was the markdown cards Anybody want to guess what happened with those markdown cards? Anyone? I'll guess. Well, they were full. And they're not full anymore. Uh, one other time, when I had been in Save a Lot, they had some bread marked down. And I think I got like seven or eight loaves of sourdough and I put them in the freezer and I would literally like take two slices out and make toast with it like sourdough toast in the morning for me and like I wouldn't even share it with my kids or with Chris and and it lasted like forever and and like I made like an egg sandwich with like two slices I would toast in the pan if you watch that Gypsy Sisters, I know it's not on anymore, but they talked about how they made Gypsy Toast. They would butter it and then kind of like put it in the pan and OMG, dude, uh, that's how I make my toast. And it was so stinking good. So I would eat that and it was really yummy. So they had, I don't know, three loaves of that and I got that. And then I got like four loaves of rye. Mm. Um... And then I got a Sakatumi cake was like two bucks. 
and I got these brownie things. It was like two bucks. Yeah, the moral of the story is I spent $15 and like 50 cents there. Unplanned, unscheduled. Woo! Went a little nuts. So I got everything on my list, which was like $23 worth of stuff plus $15 and 50 cents. So that's 35, 6, 7, 8, 38, $39. And then, okay, so I honestly totally, totally hoped that um, because it was super cold that there would be like nobody in the store, like no one will have got their head of me. There would be some lady with her kid in the cart at the meat department this time. So I went back there and oh man, I'm like, it's all like fresh and clean and beautiful. Like not that marked out meat's dirty, but it's, you know, usually it's got a bunch of extra stickers on it and it's not like organized and you know, like it's usually kind of in a pile and has like stickers all over it and it's not like perfectly square and nice and all the containers all the little foam trays had like stickers in the perfect corner and they were like all aligned and I was like oh man so I get to looking around and I just I mean I don't see anything not tubes of ground beef not sausages not pork chops not beef and so I'm like oh man and then way down at the end the counter of the you know it comes in that like cooler thing I see the sticker let's go down and have a look and <coughs> pardon me I get down there and they have something called quick carve hams and they are all marked down and they're it's like a dollar 99 a pound which you know is not bad it's boneless too which you know I'm a fan of the boneless um and they look like when you get pastrami, you know how pastrami is kind of like that long, skinny strip? It's kind of shaped like that. And I was like, oh, what is this? I don't even know what part of the, it's not processed, like preformed. But I was like looking at these and they were like $4. And I'm like, this, this works for me. This is how I want to cook and serve ham. And so I got one, two, three, I got four of them. This, the, the smallest one was $4.14, and the largest one was $6.75. And so I'm totally using those, or I'm going to maybe use two of them, like one for Christmas dinner and one for like the, you know, the day after leftovers type stuff, for my Christmas ham. Uh, not only is it fabulously marked down, um, there's no bone, and I don't have to cut anything, and it's not hard to break down. And that's like my major thing with with cooking a ham whether it's a picnic or a shank or whatever dude I don't I know I know it's like oh it's spiral cut yeah only the first half if they spiral cut the whole thing like hello okay and it would also like cook super fast or I'm just saying it would be just better so I feel like I have Christmas ham salt so I spent $19.73 on that and and that's cool because that can go in my marks on meat category but I only budgeted $17 so I went like three dollars over that. I don't know that I'm sorry because I solved Christmas. I was actually thinking like, dude, you're going to have to buy ham. And I don't want to buy ham because I'm not a ham person. But I want you to know that my save a lot, their meat department is stepping it up. It is freaking festive. Let me show you. For real. What? what is that meat department there is a christmas tree in the meats i think it is super cute and fantastic also i really want to buy a piece of meat that has one of those awesome bows but uh it's like everything else in life dude it's full price and i ain't paying for that <laughs> i don't want it that bad <laughs> So anyway, I just thought that was like a super cute ray of holiday sunshine that I could share with you and that was fun. So, all right, so I'm going to go, or I did some math. So I spent again, $56 and eight cents. Now $3 of that does not count towards my grocery. So $53 and eight cents because three of those pineapples were for Shane and his fruit basket -y gift for uh, Christmas. 
but $15 worth of cents doesn't really make up for that. Anyway, whatever. So uh, I had $106 and 14 cents remaining in my 125 budget. After $53 and eight cents, I have $53 and six cents left. Um, I went in and because I'm going to Aldi's now, but I'm going to Sam's tomorrow. Um, I looked at my Sam's and it turns out 12 and 22 are, oh my God, my, my math is it, whatever I subtracted $25, um, from 53 and then the $10 for the rock salt and I got like $18 left. And I knew, you and I both know I'm not going to all days and spending $18. It's not, not, not going to happen. So I am willfully and knowingly going to go over the grocery budget this week. And I am just going to give myself a little bit of a pass and take it out of next week's budget. So I have $30.74. Oh, I also got some Markdown pecans. Um, I spent $5 on it. It's kind of the same price as Aldi's, but these are packaged nicer. And they just look better than the bag that I get from Aldi. So I did cross that off the Aldi's list because I was at like $35.74 with like three dollars like two or three dollars worth of uh christmas oranges but it's gonna put me at thirty dollars and 74 cents so let's go get thirty dollars worth of stuff and see what i get maybe i'll come in under probably not i don't think so anyway let's go get shopping okay it just came out of all these and it's a lot busier than I had expected. I was hoping the cold would keep people away, but no friend, no. Also, it was made worse because apparently they got truck at 6 a.m., but nobody showed up at 6 a.m., like no employees showed up. So the 7 a.m. people came in and were like, surprise, you get to do the truck. And so they, um, they're really behind on doing the truck because there's less, there's not enough people there. And, um, they just started late. So like the aisles are like crowded up with those hand trucks, but okay. I spent $29 and 29 cents, which means I rocked my list. I just boom, 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 right, right, went right down that list. And I did not deviate. Um, the savings I'm sure is the difference in the eggs. Cause you know, I always budget a dollar for the eggs because they change from week to week so much. Uh, and they were 59 cents a pound or 59 cents a pound. They were 59 cents a dozen this week, which is a low price. And I was very happy with that. Um, now $4 of this 29, of course, is going to be oranges for Shane and that's not going to count. So I got a few dollars left. I will actually have to go home and do the math when I do my final summation. Um, I will let you know what the, the damage actually is and how much I have left and uh, all that stuff. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hey friends, I'm home and I'm finally indoors from the seven degree weather. And this is my grocery haul. It's kind of big, but I had more money than I usually do. So we're going to start out right here. And I got just three cans of pumpkin. They were 80, 79 cents each, so 80 cents. I got four of the chicken broth from Fit and Active. I got two salt. Um, they were 50 cents a piece, so it was a dollar for the pair. Dollar for the Swiss rolls. I got one, two, three loaves of regular white bread for 85 cents at Aldi. I have four bags of oranges here. And of course, two of them are for us and two of them are for Shane for Christmas. I have four bags of onions. They're three pounds each. They were $1.49. So I have $6 worth of onions. And mostly that is, or a lotly, <laughs> that is for um, no spend in January. I'm gonna come over back to the center of the table. I got a tub butter, $1.79. At all these, Cool Whip was on sale for 99 cents a piece at Save A Lot. And then I got two of the Markdown um, Pecan House. It's the same price as a big old bag at all these. Um, so 
these just look a lot better so I got five dollars in that I have five blackberries one two three and four and five and then what I do with these they were 99 cents a piece or a dollar each um, at all these I divide them and for each of for my girls in half you know they each get a half and they have one of these each day as a snack this was a save a lot markdown um, this is one of their America's Choice products. It's their caramel coconut brownies. They look really good. They remind me of caramel delights from Girl Scouts. Not the same, but remind me. Nutty Buddies, off brand, one dollar. These were sixty nine cents each at Save a Lot, and I believe this is a regular price. I don't believe it's on sale, but it's baking time, and when you bake, you need just stick butter. It's just better. So this is my markdown meat of the week, and I'll do pictures of this, of course. Um, and these are simple carved hams, and I, I want you to see what they look like. I need to put these in the fridge or in the um, the freezer right away, but that's part of my grocery process. So um, I got four of them. This is the big boy. Probably use this one for Christmas, and then one for like the day after. So. Um, these are my Markdown meats. I got a Sakatumi cake, and this is because we are going to a family event, and I went, I'm like, hey, two dollars, I can do that. Um, also, save a lot. This is part of my Dumas haul. I showed you these a little earlier. Each one of these is one pound, and it's $1.99 a pound, and I use four in my regular breakfast regime for the week, and then when you buy a fifth one you get a dime off so I got 50 cents off and then I will save this for no spend January potatoes this is the regular Aldi potatoes 10 pound bag I did get two of them they were on special for $1.49 again this I have potatoes uh, right now I'm not in dire need but this is going to be for no spend January lunch meat for Christmas week is the sandwich pepperoni and as you can see I mean these are not the, the pizza size ones these are these are the big, the big boys. I did also get coffee. This was $4.99 at Save a Lot. It was one of their weekly specials. All these, I got three dozen eggs. That's my regular price. They were 59 cents. I got three pineapples. They, those are part of Shane's Christmas gift. And then over here to my marked down breads. I have a lot. Oh, oh, and hey, hiding over here, I got five pounds of sweet potatoes. And I got two hunkin' giant ones. This, and then I got like two medium ones. I budgeted for five pounds. I got 5.02. That's like, you can't get any better than that. So I got one, two, three, four, five sourdough loaves. And I will put these in the fridge, or I'm sorry, in the freezer, and I will literally get them out and make two slices of toast at a time because they are that good and I want them to last. And then I also went a little nuts and I got a loaf of marbled rye. Um, I know that this is going to seem like an oxymoron, but for some reason it just, I, that, that easy carve ham on this rye bread sounded yummy. So that is my grocery haul. I'm going to go do the math and let you know how much I spent, what I still have to spend, because I do uh, have to yes, spend some stuff at Sam's, uh, yes, and I'll be right back. Worst. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so here is my final list. You can see there's lots of writing on it, lots of math. So as it stands right now, everything I've spent from Dumas, the 1549, we'll do that in a minute. The three dollars and thirty-five cents at CBS, the fifty-six dollars and eight cents at Save a Lot, and the twenty-nine twenty-nine at all these. I have twenty dollars and some change left. Um, now I still need to spend twenty-three dollars at least at Sam's and ten dollars on Rock Salt. So I am about fifteen dollars over, which oddly is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that is my roundup for now. Tomorrow I'm going to, like I say, go Christmas shopping and we'll see what I can do about that and making everything work. So it looks like next week's budget instead of being $125 is going to be $110.
which I feel like is super duper doable, uh, all things considered. Okay, well, hey, thank you for tuning in and watching. I appreciate your time and in, you know, peeking in to see what's going on. I hope this is helpful for you. If it is, don't forget to click on the good old thumbs up like. That's very helpful for me. Also, don't forget to click on subscribe so that you can see the entire story arc of the groceries from my first video of the week, which is doing the ads, looking at those, and making this list with the budget for the week. Next week's will be $110. The week after will be a $50 budget. Then we do the Aldi's Shop Along, which is the video that you're watching now. And on Monday, we do Meal Plan Monday. So you can see how all of this translates into yummy food for the week. Thanks for stopping by. Click like, click subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.